putting it in a Sunday morning, pulling back honey. Work, 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 work. Things are going very well. Boxes are coming off heavy. Escapes are working very well, clearing. It's not overly hot, or is it hot? Yeah. No. No, it's not too hot. It's okay. Got a abbreviated crew today. And we did come across one of these colonies, which the queen has got through the excluder and up into the honey box. Now those colonies are particularly uh, pain the ass. So what happens is, well, we contain the queen down the bottom. She got through the excluder. Either that or she didn't get moved down when we moved all the queens down into the bottom. Or there was a cell up here that hatched and she started making a nest up here. Whatever happened, there's a queen up on top. So when we lift these boxes up to put these escapes in, that natural cycle within the colony, which will clear these honey boxes naturally down through the escapes into the bottom so where there's no bees up here. With brood up here, that natural cycle gets interrupted and well, the nest never does cycle down. So then we have this big nest up at the top in the honey boxes and we pull it back to the honey house and it's a real pain in the ass. We gotta clear them out there. More bees in the honey house, then we gotta sort out brood and get them outside again and all this kind of stuff. We can't catch these girls a lot of the time in the yard because they hide. When we open up these tops, they all go down, they hide. Some of them are very obvious, like this one Carrie's working on. There's bees right to the top. We cracked open the boxes and brewed between the frames, so the queen obviously got up. She's just searching through, what'd you find? Brood. There's eggs down there? No. That's what I'm searching, making sure. Sometimes it's a two queen colony, whereas there's a queen down there and the queen up in the honey boxes operating just like they would. Kind of like the way I sometimes promote my nests to manage. So there's brood down there, so that means she was down there within the last three weeks. But whether or not she's still down there, what probably happened, which I'm guessing, if there's no, no eggs down there? I'm not seeing eggs. So, so there's no eggs down there, so probably what happened was she slipped through the excluder, either the excluder had an imperfection in it, and she slipped through, or she was just a skinny ass queen. Excluder seems fine. Yeah, Carrie checked out the excluder. It's, seems fine, so we're, we imagine it's just it is a skinny ass queen. She squeezed her way through. It's one of the uh, things we select for with our queens. I don't know if it makes any difference or not, but we like those big ass queens so they can't get through these excluders. So Carrie's gonna search through the nest and find the queen, move her down, move all the brood down, and we will shake the bees out of these honey boxes, load them on the truck, and then carry on after a shit ton of work. Looks like she's doing a decent job. Nothing wrong with that. A few blank spots, but all in all, kind of what you want to see. 97%. Carrie's going to find her and let me know. Carrie couldn't find that little make work project. So she, she basically just went through, dropped all the brood down in the bottom box, shook all the bees down in the bottom box, put in the excluder, and then put the two top box back on top. So if she was there, she should be down there. As so goes the rules. <sighs> but you know, just... A little bit of delay like that just adds minutes onto the yard and it just makes for a longer yard to work through. So we try not to, we try to manage our apiary. To avoid those situations, we take a very close detail on all the excluders to make sure there's no imperfections to which would, might allow the queen to get through. As we're pushing the queen down, we spend a lot of the time going back around and making sure there's no um, emergency cells in that second box that could hatch out and cause us some grief and yeah that's basically what we do we control our swarming we put a lot of attention towards managing the population within our colonies so that they're not likely to swarm with a swarm they will you know that virgin slips through the excluder and just causes havoc so situations like that which cause us a lot of time within the yards 
just because that queen isn't exactly where we want her. But now she should be down there. They'll be filling those boxes full of honey and we'll come back and we'll see the nest blow filled right up with fresh little eggs. Found a second make work project today. Not having a very good day. That's two now. Carrie's digging through this colony and she found her. I don't see her. She's right there. Walking across the honey. There she is. Just a tiny little thing. So teeny. So she obviously slipped through the excluder because she's tiny. What happened here is she has this all filled up brood. So there's pressure in this nest. She's looking for space. She slips through the excluder and she just started laying up in the top box probably three days before we come through here. Yeah. Then we moved her up over top of two empty boxes and those girls below went into queenless state and filled that bottom box with emergency cells. So then Carrie went through and killed all the cells down here. Now she's back down there now, right? Yeah. She's down there now. She's going to live there hopefully. And we're just sorting the brood frames. It's a fantastic little nest. It's just she's a skinny ass little bitch. And she's probably going to cause us trouble next time too. At any rate, that's just our make work project for the day. <laughs>